as we all know the water is a less viscous fluid as that of compared to oil or honey so whenever if i uh, pour water into a glass basically it will take less time as that of com uh, compared to oil or else honey basically so hey guys welcome back to the another video of engineers academy and in this video we are going to talk about the viscosity and uh, we are will also check out the some of the two types of the viscosity which is nothing but the kinematic viscosity and the dynamic viscosity we'll check out the units as well and uh, the some of the examples of the viscosity as well. so hey guys stay tuned till the end and watch my video till the end and also like guys don't forget to you know subscribe to my education channel engineers academy and please press the bell icon so you'll get notified whenever i upload a new video so guys without wasting any time let's begin with our today's topic that is of viscosity so fluid mechanics so fluid mechanics it deals with the behavior of the liquids under certain conditions and this is the basic branch of this uh, you know engineering so we in this branch we will see the you know the behavior of the liquids at certain conditions at their characteristics their properties their principles basically so guys uh, this particular fluids will have you know some of the properties like the fluid flows that is the property is known as the fluidity the fluid is have a definite volume definite mass definite uh, density as well so there is another property of the fluid which is nothing but the viscosity basically so as i have given you some of the examples of this water or else honey honey is more viscous than that of water and water is having you know very much less viscosity we can consider like the water is having the viscosity of the 1 centipoise so that is you know considered as a standard for more of the fluids basically so water is having less viscosity so what is actual meaning of viscosity so viscosity is nothing but the you know we can say we can call it as you know the internal resistance between the adjacent layers of the fluid we can call it as the this resistance when this resistance increases okay internal resistance increases the flow or the fluidity property gets affected you know as the internal resistance between those adjacent layers in the fluid increases the viscosity gets increases we can call it as a you know if the more is the internal resistance the more is the viscosity in the another words we can call it as like uh, let's uh, take out some a different definition like suppose if i pour a water in a specific containers which is having a specific shape basically the water will take you know the shape that uh, particular shape of the container very easily and much rapidly as that of compared to honey but if we pour honey or else if we pour a uh, tomato ketchup in that particular container it will take much time than that of you know than that of water basically so we can also say that there is a net resistance to the deformation or inside the particular fluid there is a net resistance resistance to deformation it is present in that fluid basically so that doesn't allow that fluid to deform very easily so that particular force or that particular magnitude of the force which is present which is known as the internal friction between the adjacent layer of the fluids so basically over here guys internal friction is the key word you have to remember that internal friction so basically the more the uh, the more of the magnitude of that internal friction the more is the viscosity of the fluid basically so why do we need to learn this particular term of viscosity so let's take an example like suppose there is a reservoir and suppose uh, to be precise there is a water reservoir and you have to pump that water or water reservoir we can consider as a well so you, we have to pump that water out of that water reservoir so we need a pump basically so if i replace that particular water by honey or by oil itself so suppose in case of oil to pump that particular oil from that reservoir we need more of the force we need more of the power basically so that's why you know that's why in certain cases viscosity terms viscosity plays a key role while selecting a particular pump while selecting a particular equipment basically so over here as the 
viscosity increases we need a higher higher rating pump over here in this case so that's why you know it is very necessary to understand the viscosity or the viscous behavior of the fluids basically so guys this viscosity is of two types basically the first one is the dynamic viscosity we can call it as the absolute viscosity so and the second one is the kinematic viscosity the dynamic viscosity is nothing but the absolute viscosity and it can be like it can be determined as the you know the shear forces acting on a fluid upon the shearing rate basically so let us take another example suppose if i like uh, pour honey into a specific container basically and that container is having of different uh, shape okay so whenever i pour that honey into that container the like the adjacent walls of the container they will like hit some sort of the forces on the like on your particular fluid basically so that is the shearing forces are acting on that fluid basically and the rate at which they are acting there is a specific rate over a time at that uh, they the rate at which they acting on a fluid that rate is nothing but the shear rate so we can uh, like define absolute viscosity such that like it is the ratio of the shear stress upon the rate of shear stress so that is nothing but the absolute viscosity moving ahead next is the kinematic viscosity so as we all know this kinematic viscosity is nothing but the ratio of your dynamic viscosity and density so we can call it as you know that this dynamic viscosity can be the you know the diffusivity or we can call it as the rate of diffusivity of what of the momentum between of momentum of that particular fluid flow between the adjacent layers of the fluid so basically this kinematic viscosity you know this particular kinematic viscosity is nothing but the deals with the momentum momentum of what of the adjacent layers of the fluid basically so as we all know the fluids are having a density basically and density also affects the viscosity so to be precise it affects the kinematic viscosity so guys that was all about the you know the two types of the viscosity that is nothing but the dynamic viscosity and kinematic viscosity so guys let let us talk about some units of viscosity the si unit of viscosity is the meter square per second as it is acting on a area over the time so that's why it is like meter square per second basically so the si unit of the uh, viscosity is meter square per second and the cgs unit of viscosity is nothing but the centipoise poise or else uh, stokes we can call it as so guys that was all about the viscosity uh, we have seen the you know the definition of viscosity we have seen the example of the pump so in both the cases we need like uh, different types of pump that is the equipment selection depends upon the viscosity we have also seen the you know these types of the viscosity and we have seen the units as well so guys i hope you understand this viscosity term which is purely like which is purely depends upon the internal resistance or we can call it as the internal friction between the adjacent layer of fluid so basically we have to understand that the more is the viscosity the more is the internal friction on the fluids so that is all about the viscosity guys i hope you understood this particular terminology so guys thank you for watching my video please do subscribe to my education channel engineers academy